Remember that time you bought a Bitcoin for $10, thinking it was a new type of chewing gum? Or maybe you accidentally invested your life savings in Ted Rocks, convinced they were the next big thing. We've all been there, victims of the great economic unknown. But fear not, financial fumblers. This video is your crash course, Economic Common Sense. I'll teach you the basics of spending, saving, and investing so you can avoid future financial fox paws and become a money-savvy mastermind. Trust me, it's way more fun than collecting beanie babies. Okay, let me tell you that this video will be like a storybook raid to make investment a fun topic. Hope you got it. First stop, Consumerville, where spending fuels the engine. Imagine the economy is a giant game of tech where your purchases chase businesses and vice versa. The faster you spend, the faster businesses grow, making investors those folks cheering from the sidelines do a happy dance. But when spending slumps, it's like someone tripped and the whole game grinds to a halt. Investors then throw fits, businesses sulk, and everyone cries in their wallets. Next up, Valueville, where prices sing a fickle too. Remember that fancy phone you bought. Turns out, its value isn't set in stone, it's a duet between how useful it is think beyond belting out, and how much everyone wants a picture Justin Bieber joining in. Maybe a little off-key. When everyone craves your phone, its price skyrockets cue a high-pitched Mariah Carey moment. But when it gets old or everyone's rocking the latest gadget, its value plummets faster than a drop mic. Income Island, where money flows like a tropical breeze. This is where you and your bank account take center stage. Think of your income as the sunshine that keeps your financial palm trees swaying. But life throws curveballs, like pesky hurricanes called retirement. That's why investing smart is like building a seawall helps your finances other life storms. Consumption Canyon, where spending can become a slippery slope. Remember that time you went on a shopping spree after a race? Yeah. We've all been there. But overspending can be like tumbling down a canyon you lose sight of your financial goals and land with a bruised wallet. Tracking your spending is like building a sturdy bridge, helping you navigate the canyon safely and reach your financial paradise. Interest rates rapids, where borrowing gets bumpy. Imagine borrowing money like taking a kayak down these rapids. The higher the interest rate think raging waterfalls, the harder it is to paddle a land the more it costs. The Federal Reserve, like a river guide, adjusts these rates to keep the economy flowing smoothly. I hope these points have given you a sense of how understanding basic economic forces can help you. Ride the waves in investing. And there's one more area I want to touch on before we move forward. Real estate. Now I know what you may be thinking. Real estate is expensive and complicated, right? While it does require more upfront capital than stocks, real estate has proven time and again to generate substantial returns when approached strategically. The numbers don't lie. On average, real estate has outperformed most other asset classes over the long run. There are a few key reasons for this. For one thing, real estate is a tangible asset, no matter what happens in the stock market or economy overall, people will always need places to live and work. As long as you buy well, your properties maintain an intrinsic value beyond market fluctuations. Plus, as a real estate investor you have multiple ways to profit. Capital gains when you sell, of course. But also ongoing cash flow from rental income, which gives your portfolio recurring revenue stream. And did I mention the tax benefits? depreciation, interest deductions, the tax code practically rewards real estate investors. My point is, if you're looking for investments that can really turbocharge your returns, especially as part of a diversified portfolio, real estate deserves a serious look. The work upfront pays off in powerful, long-lasting ways. So are you ready to get started on your real estate journey today? Then be sure to download my free report for Get Crypto, Flip Houses, the Pro's Guide to Making Millions in Real Estate. This guide is jam-packed with strategies for finding your first deal, tips for renovation and flipping, how to obtain financing, and so much more. You'll leave feeling inspired with a proven game plan to take action. Now let's continue about investment. Economic Indicator Mountain. Were clues to the future high. Ever wanted to be a fortune teller? Studying economic indicators, like the GDP and job growth, is like reading the clouds for economic weather. 
By following these signs, you can predict market trends and make investment choices like a financial Gandalf. Sector Safari, where industries take turns in the spotlight. The economy is like a jungle, with different sectors think lions, giraffes, and maybe even some rogue parrots. Playing hide and seek, during recessions, some sectors go into hiding, while others strut their stuff. By tracking these movements, you can be like a seasoned safari guy, finding the hottest investment opportunities. Stock Market Zoo, where indexes rule the roost. Imagine the stock market as a zoo, with indexes like the Dow Jones and the S&P 500 as the alpha lines, watching over different sections. Understanding how these indexes work is like learning the animal language. It helps you navigate the zoo and decide which investments to befriend. Regulatory Rainforest, where watchdogs keep things wild but fair. Just like the rainforest needs conservationists to protect its creatures, the economy needs the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC to make sure everyone plays nice. The SEC is like a park ranger, keeping the wolves of fraud at bay and ensuring everyone, from investors to businesses, follows the rules. Global Gundola, where the world's economies sing in harmony sometimes. Remember that interconnected world we're living in. Well, guess what? Economies are connected too. Events in one corner of the globe can send ripples across the whole market. So, pay attention to global trends. Think of it like learning the different languages of the world economy, expanding your investment horizons. With this map in hand, you're no longer lost in the economic wilderness. So, go forth, explore, and remember. A little knowledge goes a long way in making sense of the market madness. Don't forget to have fun and be curious. The economy is a fascinating puzzle, and the more you explore, the more you'll understand its quirks and charms. Happy investing!